Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to change your default search engine on Windows. So by default, when you use Windows, Bing is your default search engine, bing.com. So if you type anything up here and press search, it's gonna use Bing to do that search for you. But what if you wanted to change it to another search engine like Google or DuckDuckGo? Well, all you have to do is come over here to the right side. I'm using Windows Edge here, by the way, the browser that I'm using is Windows Edge, but on Google Chrome, if you use that on your Windows, it works the same way. You press the three dots over here and you come down to the settings option. I'll show you in a second exactly what it looks like on Google Chrome. But if you're using Edge, all you have to do is on the left side, come over to privacy and services and go all the way down on this page to the very bottom of the page and go to address bar, click this right here, and it will bring you to this page where you could change your default search engine to these other options like Yahoo and Google. You could also go to manage search engine here and add another one here if you wanted to do that. And it's that simple to do this on Edge, but let me show you on Google Chrome. It works the same on Mac or Windows on Google Chrome. You press the three dots over here, you go to the settings tab on this side and here on the left side there's an option for search engine click that and it brings you to this part of the page where you could change your default search engine to another one now if you use chrome the default one is google but if you wanted to change it to bing or yahoo or these other ones that's your available option and you also have managed search engine where you could go ahead and click this and then go ahead and add your own if you don't see one that you like here and it's that simple to change your search engine on Windows using Microsoft Edge or using Google Chrome. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos. And I'll see you next time.